Hello everyone. Today I am going to take another topic of pharmacology that is antiretroviral drug or you can say the drug which we are going to use for the HIV or human immunodeficiency virus. So what it does cause human HIV? It causes AIDS that is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. So there are basically two types of HIV, HIV-1 and HIV-2. So majority of the HIV infection worldwide that is because of HIV-1 whereas HIV-2 it is going to cause the infection only in few places like Western Africa and in India. Now coming to the structure of the HIV virus, what kind of virus it is. So it is a retrovirus, okay. So single stranded genetic material that is in the form of RNA. So single stranded RNA will be there and this is covered with the capsid and as this is an enveloped virus so outside envelope is there so there are on the envelope various surface protein they are there so surface protein one is a a knob like structure, the glycoprotein that is a GP120. This is a surface protein, and another one is a transmembrane, this stock which is going to connect with this GP120 to the envelope. This is GP41. And along with that, there are various enzymes which are also present, like one is a this is a reverse transcriptase, then we have a integrase and then we have a protease. So this is a structure of HIV virus and this GP120 and 140, this envelope, antigen envelope, this is a antigenic in nature and this surface protein it helps in the binding of this virus with the host cell. Now it is going to bind with what type of host cell? Most common is it is CD4 positive T lymphocytes, then macrophages, then Langerhans cells, then dendritic cell of CNS. But the most common site it is CD4 positive T lymphocyte. Now how this virus it is different from the rest of the virus. Number one it is a retrovirus. Retrovirus means number one it is a retro virus. That means it is having a single stranded RNA with reverse transcriptase enzyme. So normally what happens normally there is and what is the action of this reverse transcriptase enzyme? So normally RNA that is synthesized from the DNA with the help of enzyme transcriptase. So transcription, what is the transcription? The DNA, this messenger RNA or RNA that is transcribed from the DNA. Now in reverse here what will happen from the
DNA that is will come from so it's better if I write it all. It's a bit confusing. So normally from the DNA RNA that is with the help of transcriptase enzyme and here what will happen the RNA that will be transcribed into the DNA by the reverse transcriptase. So it is, is me kya? reverse transcription. What is the transcription? The genetic material that is transcribed into the messenger RNA and further that is translated into various polypeptide. And this is a process is called transcription. Is me kya? Reverse transcription of the reverse transcription that means there will be synthesis of this DNA from the RN. Number one is this difference. The another one is whenever the person get any kind of viral infection, what happens to the immunity of the person? Okay, immunity of the person's body immune system it gets activated. So that's why most of the viral infection they are self limiting. But in this case, what will happen because this virus. It is mainly attacking what it is attacking CD4 positive T lymphocytes. So it is going to decrease the cell mediated immunity and person will end up various kind of infection, opportunistic infection and will have various type of malignancy and ultimately person may die because of all that infections. So this is the basic difference between the HIV virus and rest of the virus. So it is a retrovirus and it is going to decrease the cell mediated immunity. Now how this virus it is going to replicate? It is going to attack the CD4 positive T lymphocytes. So just see the next diagram. So this is the virus. You can see that this is a HIV virus with its surface protein that is GP120 and this stock like this is GP41. This is the one which is going to help the attachment of this virus on the host cell. And this is the host cell. Here is host cell. Kya hai? Host cell is a CD4. It is a CD4 positive T lymphocyte. And along with that CD4, you can see the another co-receptor that is CCR5. So this is a co-receptor. So two type of receptor, co-receptor they are there. One is CCR5 and another one is CXCR4. This is chemokine co-receptor. Now this GP120, it is going to, this HIV virus, it is going to bind on the surface of the host cell where exactly on the CD4. So this GP120, it is going to bind with the CD4 receptor. Then further, this co-receptor, it also binds with this CCR5. It, 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 either if it is a CCR5 tropic virus, it will be going to bind with the CCR5. If it is a CXCR4 tropic virus, it is going to bind with that. Now, with the binding of this receptor and co-receptor, now what will happen? Some conformational change will happen in the virus. What will happen? This GP41, it is going to be, it will unfold and this is going to withdraw the virus towards the host cell. Ye kya hoga? Unfold ho and this is going to withdraw the virus towards the host cell and what will happen there will be uncoating and genetic material will enter it is going to cause a fusion of the virus with the host cell then after the attachment and uncoating now what will happen this reverse transcriptase it is going to cause a reverse transcription of this genetic material this RNA Okay. So, what will happen from the RNA, there is RNA DNA copy that is formed and then from that the double stranded DNA that is formed. Now, this virus, they are obligatory parasite, they have to take the obligation, they cannot make anything of their own. Now, what will happen? The second step, second step is now this viral DNA, it will move towards the nucleus. This is the nucleus of the host cell. It will enter within the nucleus of the host cell then with the help of another enzyme that is integrase. 
this enzyme integrase now what what is the action of this integrase enzyme this integrase it is going to carry this viral copy of this viral dna within the nucleus and what will happen it is going to cause a, give a nick to the host cell dna and then cause the integration of this viral dna into the host cell and then again it is going to cause the resealing of that this is now it has become a pro viral dna now this is going to make all the component of the virus now what will happen to this now this once it is integrated it will be integrated lifelong now this integrated or this pro viral dna now it is going to form what it is going to form the genomic rna okay plus messenger rna now this messenger rna ye bana iska messenger rna now this messenger rna what it will do it is going to undergo the translation and with the translation what will happen various polypeptide a bigger chain that is formed now next is this enzyme protease now it will participate what is the action of this protease this protease it is going to cause the breakdown of this longer polypeptide into various structural functional protein and a various enzyme of the uh, hiv then what will happen all these material this genomic rna then various enzyme and various structural and the functional protein they all come together and what will happen these newly virus they assemble and they are going to release from the host cell and then again they are this new variant they are ready to infect the another cell now with this replication of the virus now we can see the certain site which can act as a target how we can inhibit this replication of the virus within the host cell by giving certain drug we can inhibit how we can we can inhibit the entry of the virus i'll just remove you so we can inhibit the entry of the virus so entry inhibitor this attachment okay so we can give the entry inhibitor then second one is we can inhibit this reverse transcription by giving the reverse transcriptase inhibitor then we can inhibit this is the number one entry inhibitor number 2 and number 3 is we can use integrase inhibitor which can inhibit the integration of this viral dna with the host cell dna and the last one is we can give the protease inhibitor which is going to inhibit this breakdown of this polypeptide chain into various enzyme and a various structural and a functional protein of the virus so that the new virus there will be no assembly and no release of the new virus so a different different check point now coming to the entry inhibitor okay so what are the entry inhibitor we have which act as an anti hiv so entry inhibitor we can give they act they bind either with this gp120 they can bind with gp41 and even they can bind with the co receptor ccr5 and one drug even they can bind with the cd4 receptor also so at all the four side so how this virus it is going to get attached with the host cell gp120 gp41 they are the structure on the surface uh, glycoprotein on the virus and cd4 and ccr5 they are the structure on the host cell so we have now entry inhibitor you can see next slide or fusion inhibitor we have gp41 the drug here is 
and pivotide and then GP 120 that is for stem cell then CCR5 inhibitor we have Maraviroc so all these drug and then CD4 this is drug is Ebali Zuma so how all these drugs they are going to act if you are going to give amphivotide what will happen they are going to bind with this surface protein GP41 and further the fusion of this virus once it binds with the GP41 then the fusion of this virus with this receptor that is inhibited if there is no fusion then there will be no entry of the genetic material and all of them they act by this even this one also same way CCR5 they also act in the same way they are going to bind with the chemokine receptor once they bind with the chemokine receptor CCR5 then what will happen there will be no fusion of the virus with the host cell and if there is a no fusion of the virus then viral will not enter and there will be no replication of the virus. So, enfuvotide it is a peptide so we give it by subcutaneous route. Half life is less it means it is a good tolerability is good its main side effect is because we are giving it by injection so injection may be painful and this drug this group of drug we can use it as an add-on therapy or in case of treatment failure we can use this drug group of drug now for stem cell it is given orally this is also given orally here one thing is important because there are two type of co-receptor they are seen on the host cell like macrophages may agar dekhe then CCR5 and whereas on the CD4 it is a CXCR4 chemokine receptor they are there. So this group of drug it is effective only if this receptor it is present. So just see if the virus shows this type of tropism then only this drug will be showing the effect otherwise it will not show any effect so this drug it is also used as an add-on drug therapy it shows the various it is metabolized by cytochrome 3a4 so various kind of drug interaction with the various enzyme inhibitors and enzyme inducer we can see the various kind of drug interaction otherwise it is a tolerability it is good ibalizumab mab is it is monoclonal antibody we can use this one and which is going to bind with the cd4 receptor so this is of about the fusion inhibitor so we have a four drug gp41 120 ccr4 uh, 5 and cd4 now coming to the next one so ye wala ho gaya coming to the next one that is a reverse transcriptase inhibitor so they are going to inhibit the reverse transcription. So by inhibiting the reverse transcription, what will happen? The viral replication won't be there. Now how the reverse transcriptase inhibitor they are going to act? So they are going to inhibit the reverse transcription. So already I have told what is the transcription and what is the reverse transcription. So normally what happens? What is in the transcription? In the transcription, the normally from the DNA RNA that is transcribed with the help of enzyme transcriptase okay. and what is with the here from the RNA the DNA that is formed this is a reverse transcriptase no genomic material that is form and another name for this transcriptase is DNA dependent DNA polymerase and here it is a RNA dependent DNA polymerase so you must be aware about the at least this polymerase DNA polymerase so they are going to 
polymerize the DNA or the genetic material. Now DNA it consists of what? So this is a from one DNA how the another DNA how they are going to multiply that by there will be what substrate it needs this DNA polymerase it needs either you can say nucleoside or a nucleotide because that is the basic structure of the DNA okay so DNA it is either DNA and RNA they are consist of this nucleoside or nucleotide or you can say nucleoside or nucleotide what is a nucleoside with a nitrogen base either it will be purine or pyrimidine that is adenine guanine this is a purine cytosine thymidine that is a pyrimidine and in RNA there will be instead of this thymidine there will be uracil and if with this if in case of RNA, ribo sugar will be attached. In case of DNA, deoxy ribo sugar will be attached. And then further there will be phosphate. And this is going, this structure it is nucleoside. Whereas this whole thing it is a nucleotide phosphate. Now, If we give, now how this reverse transcriptase inhibitor, how they are going to act? They are going to act, so for first we will see they are of two types, competitive and non-competitive. Okay? So reverse transcriptase inhibitor, they are competitive and non-competitive. Just let's see ki what are the competitive they are there. Suppose one example, zidovidine, this is a competitive. Zidovidine so, then we have a stevidine, didenosine, then we have a lamivudine. Okay. Now how they are going to inhibit this? That means or inhibit this or one and same thing inhibit this DNA polymerase. Now DNA polymerase they are going to use what substrate either purine or pyrimidine analog. Now this GDVDine there is a competition that means they have some structural resemblance with either purine or pyrimidine analog like GDVDine it is a thymidine analog. Stevidine it is also a thymidine analog. Didenosine is a adenosine analog. This is deoxycytidine analog. Now what will happen? Once you are going to give this drug, what will happen? This DNA polymerase instead of picking up the thymidine, it may take up the GWD. But once it take up the GWDN, then further lengthening of the DNA will not happen. So in detail, I have uh, one more video on the antiviral drug that is uh, anti-herpes. So in that, I have shown how the E cyclover, how it get activated first and then how it is going to uh, inhibit this um, DNA dependent DNA polymerase. So you can watch that video also. I will be giving link in the description box. So most of these drugs they are either purine analog or a pyrimidine analog. But ye hai what, what they have what this this DNA polymerase they are going to pick up what? Nucleoside or nucleotide? They are going to take up the nucleotide. So already I have told this nucleotide means phosphate, they are also there. If they are analog of nucleoside, agar ye sirf nucleoside analog, hai, then what will happen? they need a phosphorylation and phosphorylation for that they need a host cell or viral uh, specific kinases which is going to cause the phosphorylation and if it is a nucleotide then it does not require the phosphorylation so it is activated from so this they are all of them so far zidovidine stavudine didenosine lamivudine they are nucleo Side. They are not the nucleotide. What else uh, we can see uh, here? 
then we have a another drug is gelcitabine amtroy citabine then we have abacavir and last one we have a tenofovir this is the only one which is a nucleotide so most of them they are this analog and all of them they act in a same way the only thing is this does not need a phosphorylation it's instead of it is a monophosphate it is available in a monophosphate form so what it it will be converted into only diphosphate whereas rest of the drug they will be converted into the triphosphate so once they get converted into triphosphate then they will be resembling with a nucleotide then what will happen this enzyme dna polymerase instead of picking up the purine or pyrimidine they are going to take up this didovidin because now it's structural it resembles with the nucleotide so they are going to take up that once it is taken up then what will happen suppose here the dna i'll show here suppose ठीक है यहाँ पे अब आपको चाहिए तो वट विल हैपन हेयर इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस थाइमेडिन वट विल हैपन हेयर इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस थाइमेडिन दिस जिटोविडिन विच इज अ थाइमेडिन एनोलॉग this will come and bind now once it binds and what will happen the faulty dna synthesis will be there and if it is a faulty dna synthesis then what will happen the further lengthening of the dna chain will not happen so what are the important things about this jidobidin uh, stabodin didanosin and uh, lamivudin so important thing is we all we all of them they are given by oral route and they have a differences in the uh, pharmacokinetic then the differences in the side effect and that is going to decide whether it is used as a first line drug or it is used as a alternative drug or it is not at all used like jidobidin we give it by oral route and half life is 1 to 1.5 its most important side effect is related with the myelosuppression it causes the mildo suppressions that means it can cause the anemia it can cause leukopenia it can cause a neutropenia so that is a main otherwise myopathy git side effect that is also seen so earlier this was the only drug we had so it was used as a first line drug but now a dr nowadays it is according to the latest uh, neco regime or who guidelines it is used as an alternative not a first line drug okay. then coming to the stavudin stavudin it is too toxic to be used it causes the peripheral neuropathy it causes the pancreatitis see these are the two side effect peripheral neuropathy and stavudin it causes pancreatitis and peripheral neuropathy okay because of that it is not used and maximum peripheral almost most of the drug they show especially dean valigenemia uh, your this judovidine stavudine and didanosine they show but maximum peripheral and gelcitabine but maximum peripheral neuropathy that is seen with the stavudine next is didanosine even didanosine that is also not used because of its important side effect these two but maximum is pancreatitis that is seen maximum but this then next one is uh, your lamivudine so lamivudine is a drug which is the least toxic 
this case it's a good tolerability so this is the one and uh, it shows a synergistic combination with the rest of the anti hiv drug so this is a preferred first line lamivudine is a preferred first line drug in the neco regime or who regime and other uh, important is lamivudine it is also used for the hepatitis b virus and the dose which is required for the hepatitis b virus that is low in comparison to the dose which we are using uh, for the anti hiv so earlier it was used but nowadays we do not use for, uh, for this lamivudine it is not a preferred drug because even if you continue or discontinue the hepatitis viremia it appears with this so it is the least toxic and with a good tolerability so it is preferred as a first line drug then we have a abacavir so what about the abacavir so abacavir its important side effect is once you give it it causes a hypersensitivity reaction okay it causes the hypersensitivity reaction but if any patient shows this hypersensitivity reaction you have to stop the drug aapne deni nahi uske baad us patient ko drug and what is the cause of this hypersensitivity reaction they say it is a genetic basis second one is it is going to there is a release of tumor necrosis factor so that leads to hypersensitivity reaction baki ye hai in comparison to lidocaine half life is very very less lamivudine ki 12 hours hai and this drug it also shows a half life of 12 and this is a, a good drug and it is one of the first line drug under the neco guideline then we have a m tri cetabine so this is also a cytidine analog so m tri cetabine it is a half life half life is 40 hours so single dose आप हम इसको सिंगल डोज भी दे सकते हैं एंड साइड इफेक्ट इसके भी बहुत कम है सो दिस इज आल्सो दिस आल्सो कम्स अंडर फर्स्ट लाइन ड्रग एंड यूजुअली इट इट इज अवेलेबल अ फिक्स डोज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एम ट्राइसिटाबिन इज अवेलेबल विद द टीनोफोवीर सो टीनोफोवीर दैट इज 300 मिलीग्राम एंड एम ट्राइसिटाबिन इज available as a 200 the fixed dose combination that is available with this drug and where we can use it it is used as a first line drug usme hoti hai for the and it is also used who recommends use this one for the pre exposure prophylaxis the combination amtri cetabine and tenofovir this combination is used for the pre exposure prophylaxis so next is we have a tenofovir so tenofovir what is important about tenofovir this is the only nucleotide and the rest of them they are the nucleoside so it does not need that phosphorylation it is available as a monophosphate only the diphosphate uh, is going to inhibit the rna dependent dna polymerase or reverse transcriptase enzyme okay then it this is also preferred uh, first line drug regime because of its efficacy because of the good tolerability ye bhi aapki first line mein so first line mein is group mein kaun kaun si hai we have ye jo maine last ki teen batayi hai lamivudine abacavir amtricitabine and tenofovir so they come under the first line drug so that's all this is about the reverse transcriptase inhibitor and what is the other name for this competitive because they are going to compete their structural resemblance is with what either nucleotide or with a nucleoside so isko hum aur kya bolenge we say nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor this is another name for this no non competitive non competitive they are also going to inhibit this reverse transcriptase inhibitor they are also going to inhibit the same but they are going to inhibit directly that means they are not a nucleotide or nucleoside analog so isko aur hum kya bolenge we can say this one non nucleoside
non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor and here we have a two generation first generation and second generation if you remember the name of the first generation that of first to group two drug that is more than enough for the ambivalent students so what are those two drugs we have efavirenz then navirapine and dalvaridin this is a first generation itravirin that is a second generation and if you remember these two drugs they are more than enough this is the drug and ha huh, with this first one the cross resistance that is not that common ha agar aapne kisi patient ko judovidin di hai wo kaam nahi kar rahi you can give the abacavir you can give a lamivudin kisi ko diya karu the patient show the resistance you can put the patient on judovidin it may work but this group of drug efavirenz and navirapine the cross resistance that is very very common so if a variance and cox cross resistance that is so number one they are the non competitive also called a nucleoside non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor so they are not going to bind to the same site they are going they are going to inhibit the directly this enzyme and they are going to bind kahan pe karenge at some different allosteric site they are going to bind number one is this and what else number two is they are none of them they are effective against hiv 2 they are effective only against hiv 1 then number 3 is so hiv 2 ho gaya cross resistance that is very very common so if the person does not show response to the efa variants you should not put the patient on navirapine if the person does not show response to the navirapine don't put the patient on efavirenz to so it, it because cross resistance that is very very common number 3 they are metabolized by cytochrome p3a4 and cytochrome 2b6 okay so efavirenz Navirapine is mainly by this cytochrome three A one and partly by this efavirenz that is mainly by this and partly by this. So even navirapine it causes the auto induction. Okay, induce it is an enzyme induces. So you can see many drug interaction because of that. You can see the many drug interaction can be. seen with this so navirapine it causes auto induction so what happens you start with the slow low dose and then after 2 weeks you have to double the dose do hafte ke baad aapko double karni hai why because of the auto induction of this navirapine theek okay? hai so this is another important point now what else navirapine the important side effect with this is a, it is a hepatotoxic so any patient with a liver disease this drug should not be given so if a virus its important side effect is various neuropsychiatric reactions so earlier we used to say that this drug is to be used during pregnancy but now we say if a virus this is to be used even during pregnancy because of its half life half life is dono ka hi acha hai navirapine its half life is 30 hours and whereas if a virus 40 hours 48 hours so if a virus because of its long half life if we are going to miss the dose it will be less damaging as compared to the navirapine so this group of drug with the two drug they are there if a virus and navirapine if the person does not show sensitivity to if a virus it is useless to put the patient on navirapine because of the cross resistance important side effect i have told and this drug also be given in combination with either uh, it is usually given in combination with the nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor now next group of drug is uh, integrase inhibitor that is raltegravir and dolutegravir 
so how this group of drug they act if you know how the virus it replication what, what is the action of integrase enzyme so integrase it is going to cause the integration of this viral dna to the if you remember viral dna with the host's dna this process it is with the help of the integrase enzyme and here what will happen if you are going to give the that integrase inhibitor it is going to inhibit this integration of the enzyme so pro viral dna will not be formed this is how it is going to inhibit the replication now we have a two drug reltegravir and Dol uh, dolutegravir so reltegravir and dolutegravir they are the one which are effective against both hiv1 and hiv2 वैसे तो मोस्ट ऑफ द ड्रग दे आर एक्टिव अगेंस्ट एच आई वी टू एक्सेप्ट कौन सी है इट इज अ नॉन न्यूक्लियोसाइट रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्ट जो अभी मैंने करा है दे आर नॉट इफेक्टिव अगेंस्ट एच आई वी टू वायरस सो नो रेल्टीग्रावी एंड डॉल्टीग्रावी मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन राइट दैट how we are going to give we are going to give by oral route and good oral bioavailability and its efficacy it's good efficacy and because of that and side effect they are very very less good efficacy less side effect or good tolerability that is what because of that this group of drug they currently they have a, what status they have the status is they are used as a first line drug as an anti hiv now it's important other important points its interaction with the rifampicin or enzyme inducer so this drug it is uh, if you are going to give it with the rifampicin then what will happen it is going to cause a metabolism of that you have to increase the dose of that second thing is if you are going to give it with the antacid jisme aapke calcium hai magnesium iron hai or iron hai whatever is there then what will happen it is going to cause a chelation of that it is going to chelate because this group of drug they have a chelating property because of that it is going to chelate that so you should not be Give, uh, should not give this drug by that. So this is all about the integrase inhibitor. Next group of the drug is protease inhibitor. Now we have a protease inhibitor. Here A is missing. So atazanavir, atazanavir, indinavir, dalfinavir, sacuvinavir, ritonavir, lopinavir. Fos, amprinavir, and darunavir. So all these, they are the protease inhibitor. Now, how the protease inhibitor? What is the action of the protease? So protease, it is a enzyme which is going to break down this polypeptide, whatever is formed with the translation. It is going to cause the breakdown of this and various viral enzyme and a functional structural protein of the virus that is formed. Now, once you give this protease inhibitor. आप अगर ये दे देते हो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू गिव द प्रोटीज इन बिटर टू दर्सन देन वॉट विल हैपन दिस पॉलीपेप्टाइड देर विल बी नो ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ दिस पॉलीपेप्टाइड देन अल्टीमेटली इफ दिस इज नॉट ब्रेक डाउन देन वॉट विल हैपन अ लार्ज पॉलीपेप्टाइड चेन विल बी देयर एंड नो स्ट्रक्चरल प्रोटीन नो एनजाइम ऑफ द वायरस नथिंग इज फॉर्म थ्रो नो असेंबली एंड नो रिलीज सो दिस इज हाउ द वायरल रेप्लीकेशन दैट इज स्टॉम नो वन क्वेश्चन इज देर now this protease inhibitor they are effective this is very important protease inhibitor they are effective against both newly and chronically infected cell whereas reverse transcriptase inhibitor whether it is a nucleoside or non nucleoside they are effective against only newly infected cell yes you got the question protease inhibitor it is effective against the both newly and chronically infected t lymphocytes whereas reverse transcriptase inhibitor they are effective only against the newly infected cell now what is the reason see if suppose i am giving this reverse transcriptase inhibitor 
and in this particular cell already transcription has been happened and integration is also has been happened ye is step tak tak ye pahunch gaya now this drug rti it will be of no use iska koi use nahi hai because now the pro virus it is integrated with the host cell but if i give no protease inhibitor then it has to pass through these phases so it will be showing the effect so protease inhibitor aapne newly agar newly yahan pe hai then it ha, it will be passing through this agar yahan pe bhi hai then it will enter reverse transcription will happen integration will happen and ultimately there will be breakdown of this polypeptide by the protease inhibitor so both newly and chronically infected cell protease inhibitor it shows the effect whereas this one is effective only with the newly infected cell so these are the eight protease inhibitor we have how they act i have told you about the mechanism of action now what the important point about this so all of them they are enzyme inducer which enzyme cytochrome 3a4 so we can see the drug interaction so they are the enzyme inducer plus they inhibit also so they are the substrate of this plus they inhibit also or sabse maximum inducer kaun sa sacrovinone they also inhibit the cytochrome 3a4 and what are the inhibitor we have a, this lopinavir then we have a ritonavir and then we have a nalfinavir so these are the three which is going to inhibit cytochrome 3a4 lopinavir ritonavir and alfinavir and the maximum inhibition that is seen with the sorry ritonavir ठीक है सो मैक्सिमम इनहिबिशन ऑफ दिस एंजाइम सो मेनी ड्रग इंटरेक्शन सो मेनी ड्रग इंटरेक्शन दिस इज वन शॉर्ट कमिंग विद दिस मेनी ड्रग इंटरेक्शन वी विल सी विद दिस ग्रुप ऑफ ड्रग देन अनदर वन इज लोड ऑफ द मेडिसिन ठीक है लोड पर्सन हैज टू टेक मेनी टैबलेट 6 टू 18 टैबलेट पर्सन हैज टू टेक ऑन डेली बेसिस and this is going to reduce the compliance of the drug so how we can do this thing to away this is they have seen if we combine a low dose of this is the preparation can you see lopina with with the of slash r so this is the preparation lopina with with the r r stands for this small r it stands for the ritonavir this lopinavir it is available in the combination with the low dose of ritonavir so ye kaise iska 400 lopinavir into 100 of ritonavir and if we give add this small amount of the ritonavir with all these protease inhibitor what will happen it is going to increase the bioavailability of protease so with that bioavail because it is a metabolize very fast so if we are going to add this small amount of suppose 100 mg of ritonavir to all the protease inhibitor then what will happen their bioavailability will be more because it is going to it act as a inhibitor so it is going to inhibit this cytochrome 3a4 by inhibiting this what will happen it will be not metabolized fast it will metabolize slowly so that is going to increase the duration of action of this group of drug second thing is it also inhibit the first pass metabolism of this drug by that also it increases the bioavailability so right you know where it is added almost to all the protease inhibitor except kis mein nahi hum kehte nan finavir because this is the one which is metabolized by 3c19 it is not metabolized by 3a4 so this is the another important so what will happen what is this this pro, this is called what this is called as boosted protease inhibitor regime this is a very important short note okay so boosted pi regime what is that if we add a small amount of ritonavir to all the protease inhibitor except nalfinavir then this is going to increase 
the bioavailability of this um, protease inhibitor because ritonavir it is a enzyme inhibitor so at low dose kyun low dose deni because th at low dose it is going to inhibit only cytochrome p 3a4 not the protease enzyme it is not going to inhibit the protease enzyme it is going to inhibit only cytochrome 3a4 so this is a short not which which drug it is used which which protease inhibitor is used as a boosted pi regime that is a return over so many question they are asked isme jaise ye hai ki all of the following they are the protease inhibitor except see you can see the spelling all they are and with the navir navir karke and one drug which is i have just told is a nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor abacavir so usually this is also given in a choice theek okay? hai so just remember this one all they are end with the navr theek okay? hai in sab mein isme nahi hai but it agar aap vir dekho all of them they end with the vir so this creates a confusion so bada simple sa question all the following they are the protease inhibitor except abacavir theek okay? hai is tarah se aapko ye wala question aa jata hai the there is a um, other way जैसे इसमें आ गया ऑल द फॉलोइंग आर दी प्रोटीज इनिबिटर एक तो आ गया एक्सेप्ट आपने ये कर दिया अबैकावियर फिर आपको सेम वे दे कैन आस्क इन द न्यूक्लियोसाइड रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेज ऑल द फॉलोइंग दे आर द रिवर्स व्हिच व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेज इनिबिटर ठीक है ऐसे आता है व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेज इनिबिटर उसमें भी सेम चॉइसेस दी होती है ठीक है एटाजेनावीर राइटोनावीर डोपिनावीर एंड अबैकावीर उसमें भी पर उसमें अब आपने क्या न्यूक्लियोसाइड रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्टेज इनिबिटर देन यू हैव टू की पुट आपको ये वाला चॉइस करना है तो कमिंग अगेन बैक टू दिस वन वोट आर द अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट रिलेटेड विद दिस एंड एंड अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज विद दिस नाउ वॉट विल हैपन दैट लोड्स ऑफ टैबलेट जो पेशेंट को ज्यादा खानी पड़ रही है उसको कम खानी पड़ रही है ठीक है देन एन अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट दे आर ऑलवेज use the efficacious but we always keep it as a second line drug first line drug mein hum nahi dete they are the second line drug so patient failing for the first line then only we are going to add this group of drug why because we are keeping it as a reserve drug agar if we are going to use it for the first line drug then we won't be having much for the second line drug another importance is is it's a side effect the few of the common side effect related usually with the metabolic metabolic side effect that is apart from the gat and all metabolic side effect is they are they going to cause the lipodystrophy then hyperlipidemia hyperglycemia and it is going to cause precipitate the diabetes mellitus and this is least seen with atazanavir so atazanavir it is the preferred drug but yes with the atazanavir we very commonly we can see the jaundice okay indinavir it causes the renal stone okay nalfenafir is the one which we do not combine with the ritonavir because of its metabolism so this is sequinavir is the uh it, it is a you can say the least inhibitor sabse kam hai inhibitor of cytochrome 3a4 ritonavir low dose we combine lopinavir it is uh, present in a combination with this then this darunavir this is a newer one newer protease inhibitor which is effective against both hiv1 and hiv2 even for the resistant strain it is also effective and this is always given either in a combination with the ritonavir low dose of ritonavir or cobc stat so no this darunavir it is given either in a combination with the low dose ritonavir or cobc stat so this is about the protease inhibitor how this drug it act about the important point so very commonly the question which is asked from this classify anti hiv drug write the mechanism of action of protease inhibitor and its important side effect then another short note is a boosted already i have told boosted 
protease inhibitor resin so the four group of drug what all we have discussed fusion inhibitor then reverse transcriptase inhibitor both nucleoside and non nucleoside integrase inhibitor and a protease inhibitor so these four group of drug they are used as an anti hiv drug now what are the hiv treatment guidelines so according to the neco 2021 what is the treatment uh, guidelines so earlier like we used to say ki treatment patient ko kaise then depending on the um, and all these drugs jitni bhi aapne wo all the four group of the drug how we can see the efficacy of all these four drugs by looking at the cd4 count cell and by looking at the hiv rna copies so hiv rna copies their number should be decreased and cd4 count cell number will be more now what are the treatment guidelines pehle hum treatment guidelines it Uh, used to like depending on the symptoms whether patient is symptomatic or asymptomatic depending on the cell count cd4 aapka 350 hai 200 to 350 but now now the, what is the latest guideline what they say they say all the patient all hiv positive patient you have to start the anti hiv drug as soon as possible because what they say ki this virus it is going to damage the immune system from the beginning itself chap ko symptoms aaye ya na aaye so it's better to start as early as possible so to minimize that damage to the immune system so we have to start this drug to all the hiv positive patient irrespective of whether the patient is symptomatic or not symptomatic then irrespective of its cd4 count irrespective of symptoms or not and irrespective of cd4 positive count theek hai uske baad ye hai then how long we have to give so earlier we had only one so uh, one or two one or two group of the drug so what we used to do when we used to look for the cd4 count cell and hiv rna copy once we see the cd4 count cell it is improved hiv rna copies uh, if it is less than 50 copies then we used to stop the drug but now it is not we give a life long therapy theek okay? hai then how many drugs total we have to give we give what kind of resin we give heart therapy what is heart therapy it is highly active anti retroviral therapy now what is the heart therapy here we give at least minimum three drugs three drugs minimum from two groups from the two groups so groups can be it can be ha huh, jo reverse transcriptase hai uska nucleoside is a separate group non nucleoside that is a separate group so we can combine nucleoside two nucleoside one non nucleoside we can combine nucleoside with the integrase inhibitor we can combine nucleoside with the protease inhibitor so the two uh, group three drugs from the two group of that now what to give to this patient what all this the first line and the second line drug what we will give so preferred the category here what do you mean by all all means all the adult all the adolescents all the patient with h just listen this is according to the neco guidelines 2021 this is the and all the patient adult and adolescent who are infected with hiv 1 HIV two or both HIV one and two and even pregnant women they are also and even the pregnant women who have just taken a half uh, navirapine not a full uh, dose just they have taken a few doses of navirapine and the patient who are co-infected with the tuberculosis patient who are co-infected with the hepatitis in all the patient the preferred regime asked treatment today is T stands for tenofovir okay. 300 mg of tenofovir we will be using
300 milligram of lamivudine and 50 milligram of dorotegravir. So TLD, it is called TLD. This is a prefluorazine. Okay. And alternative is we can use instead of dolutegravir. ये आपके क्या हो गए? Tenofovir. That is a nucleotide. है आपका? It is a nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor. Bemivudine is also nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor. So दो drug आपकी एक group की होगी. Dolutegravir. That is integrase inhibitor. So three drug from the two group. So it is available as a fixed dose combination. So patient can take one tablet on daily basis. Then instead of this dolutegravir, we have a EFA virus. What is EFA virus? EFA virus that is a non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor. This is also available as a fixed dose combination. Now this is in all the adult and adolescent whosoever weight is more than 30 kg and age is more than 10 years. Now if the person weight is less than 30, then this tenofovir, ye nahi dete. This tenofovir, it is going to affect the bone mineral density. In few, they say even osteomalacia it can cause. Then children or anybody weight is less than 30 kg, then instead of this tenofovir, we can add a bacavir. So, what is the regime? Abacavir, that is a one chance. So, preferred regime is Abacavir, Lamivudine, and Dorotegravir. And alternative is Abacavir, then Lamivudine, and we have a Lopinavir with a low dose of Ritonavir. So, what is the preferred regime? Preferred regime is So, this is a available as a combination Abacavir and Lamivudine. This is a combination lena and Dorotegravir. One tablet of this, one tablet of this on daily basis. Okay. So, this is how we are going to treat the NHIV patient. Now, if this shows a failure, person is not showing the response, then what is the alternative? What is second line drug? So, in a second line drug, always remember we have to add the protease inhibitor. We have to add and some a ka substitution. A ka hota hai, puri ki puri. Substitution is we are going to change one drug. And the full change is second line drug is where we can uh, change all the regime, all the drugs, all together we are going to change it. Is me kya hai? He like uh, certain group, like if we if a variance, yahan pe agar maine if a variance, if a variance me, this is a, from the if a variance is a non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor. And already I have told that the two drugs, if a variance and nevirapine, what they show. They shows a cross resistance. So cross resistance that is very very common. So if the person showing the resistance with the ifavarin, then don't put the patient on navirapine. Okay, ये पूरा का पूरा ही निकल जाएगा. So second line drug में if the if अगर हम ये use नहीं कर सकते, then what we'll give? Gidovudine. AJT is a gidovudine. Lamivudine and atazanamir with a low dose of ritonavir or Dopinavir, this is your protease inhibitor. So, protease inhibitor usually we give it a low dose of ritonavir except, except what is nelfinavir. And then, if this fails, then zidovidine, lamivudine and if a variance ki jaga, what is your dolutegravir. Same way, in the children, weight is less than 30 kg. Instead of this, what will be giving? Zidovidine, lamivudine and dopinavir with a low dose of ritonavir. Then, alternative, if this is not effective, then we will be giving zidovidine or if any contraindication with the zidovidine is there, then we are going to prefer the abacavir plus lamivudine and dolutegravir. So this is about the first line and the second line drug of this. Now, coming to the uh, few important questions before, after that I will be starting the prophylaxis. HIV prophylaxis. Okay, before that, we see. So, these are the question which is very commonly asked in IMBBS. This I have already told classify anti HIV drug, write the mechanism of action, then even its adverse effect of protease inhibitor as an anti HIV drug. Now, what is the heart therapy? You have to expand this heart therapy. This may care we are going to give the 
three drugs together highly active antiretroviral drug we are going using three drug from two group what is the basis of this heart therapy so heart therapy me karna yani kitna isko expand karke likh diya you have to write the first line drug you have to write the second line drug here and what is the basis of this heart therapy heart therapy this uh, hiv virus they are highly copy error prone so it causes a mutation mutation agar aapki ek bhi base pair pe hogi then this is going to confer the resistance theek hai and that's why we are giving three drugs together so to prevent that resistance so that is the basis of this heart therapy so we are giving why we are giving a three drugs together now prophylaxis we have a pre exposure prophylaxis we have a post exposure prophylaxis prophylaxis after sexual exposure and a perinatal so pre exposure pre exposure uh, uh, prophylaxis that is needed in whom it is in the sex worker number 1 ठीक है एंड नंबर टू द पीपल हु आर ड्रग एब्यूजर हु यूज अ नीडल एंड मैन हैविंग अ सेक्स विद अ मैन सो दिस अ फ्यू कैटेगरी हु नीड दिस प्री एक्सपोजर प्रोफिलैक्सिस ऑलरेडी आई हैव टोल्ड डब्ल्यूएचओ दे से फॉर द प्री एक्सपोजर प्रोफिलैक्सिस व्हाट वी हैव अ दिस इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ड्रग टिनोफोविल विद अ एम ट्राइसिटाबिन सो दिस इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ड्रग अवेलेबल सिंगल टैबलेट एम ट्राइ सीटाबिन सो ये आपकी थ्री हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम एंड दिस इज अ टू हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम दिस इज अवेलेबल इन अ कॉम्बिनेशन सो दिस इज यूज अ डेली फॉर द प्री एक्सपोजर प्रोफिलैक्सिस पोस्ट एक्सपोजर पोस्ट एक्सपोजर प्रोफिलैक्सिस किस में हमें चाहिए पोस्ट एक्सपोजर प्रोफिलैक्सिस लाइक इन द डॉक्टर्स नर्सेज मेडिकल स्टाफ मेडिकल पर्सनल लाइक इफ यू आर गिविंग इंजेक्शन पर चांस यू गेट इन्फेक्टेड विद दैट ठीक है any needle stick injury any injury with that kind and you have exposed with the biological fluid of hiv positive patient then you need a post exposure prophylaxis or that is called a pap it is called pap isme karna medical personal pain and first and you have to wash that area with the soap and water now when to start you have to give it as soon as possible but not late then 72 hours not after but within the it should be within 72 hours and we have to give it for the 4 weeks or 28 days now what to give for the post exposure prophylaxis so for the post exposure prophylaxis we will be giving again the same tenofovir then lamivudine plus we can give dopinavir and r this combination we can give or we can give tenofovir ki jagah if it abacavir lamivudine plus dopinavir and nitrovir and same we are going to give for the this now for the perinatal hiv prophylaxis or if you want from the mother to or vertical transmission of this hiv how you can prevent that vertical transmission from mother to baby how you are going to prevent so if during a pregnancy so give so vertical transmission or from mother to child transmission how you can inhibit so to the pregnant women give full heart therapy all the three drugs okay tenofovir tld t l d ye pore ki do and what to give to the neonate new nets you give a syrup navirapin for 6 weeks theek okay? hai but if this heart therapy lady has taken it for less than 24 weeks 
then extend this for the 12 weeks and if lady has taken this navirapin here वैसे क्या है ये TLD but if taken has a navirapin then which drug has to be given it is a gidovidine syrup for 6 weeks so that's all about anti-HIV drug, there are many questions, so I have two main important questions, then various MCQ, MCQ is very simple, which of the following is a fusion inhibitor and which is going to act this enfuvertide, it act how, so GP21, 120, 41, so to create a confusion, you have to tick which protease inhibitor, I have told you MCQ, I have told, then this PEP, what are the regime for how long we have to give, yes, maybe this is, as soon as possible. This is also MCQ. Kitni der ke liye maximum 4 weeks or 28 days. What is the drug? We, we use it. So, PEP kaha pe dena? PEP it, it itself asks as an important short note. Okay. So, that's all about the anti-HIV drug or anti-retroviral drug. So, thank you for watching my channel.